So every few years we get one product that changes everything. We've seen this back in 2007 when the first iPhone launched, we've seen this back when Ultrabooks started becoming mainstream, and we've also seen this when 2-in-1 laptops that were both a tablet and a laptop started appearing, and now it's that time again. So I'm very excited to show you a very, very unique product. Uh, this is going to be what Asus believes is the future of laptops, and I actually think they're 100% right. I think that this is indeed where laptops are heading towards, because you see, this one right here is a brand new generation of laptops. Meet the brand new Asus ZenBook Duo. You see, this laptop not only has Intel's latest in generation processors, but it also comes with not one, but two actual displays. We also have pen support, dedicated Nvidia graphics, an insane 22 hour battery life, and so, so much more. Also, the ZenBook Duo is actually a brand new product that just came out. Uh, so it is not to be confused with the ZenBook Pro Duo, which is its larger brother. The ZenBook Duo is not only smaller, but it's also more portable, uh, and it still comes with two displays, making this the best laptop for productivity that you can take with you easily on the go, so yeah, huge thanks to Asus for not only sending this over, the Asus ZenBook Duo for me to check out, but also for sponsoring this whole project. So let's take a look at what really, really makes this laptop a truly special device. Okay, so there are five things that make this laptop, the Asus ZenBook Duo, the next generation of laptops. So at number one, we have the dual displays, at number two, we have the performance, at number three, we have the battery life, which is absolutely insane, at number four, we have connectivity, and then finally, number five, we have portability. Okay, so starting off with the dual displays, this is by far the main feature of this laptop. It is literally in its own name. But you see, what's really unique about Asus's implementation of the secondary display is that instead of this display being sort of like a control panel for your laptop, like some other manufacturers have tried and failed, it is literally a secondary display. As in, Windows itself sees this as a secondary monitor, which means that you can do all sorts of things with it. You can drag and drop Windows from the main display onto the secondary one. In fact, Asus even added a dedicated button on the keyboard itself so that you can easily snap an app directly to the secondary secondary display and full screen it at the same time. But then you can also use this as you would use any other secondary monitor by manually dragging windows onto it using it in extended or in mirror mode. And there's so many use cases for this display. For example, you can use it when you're video editing and have your color grading tools right here, or if you're a gamer, you can have your chat uh, and Discord on the secondary display while having the game on the main screen. And probably my favorite part is that you can even merge the displays and have one massive continuous display with you anywhere you go, and that's absolutely amazing. But wait, there is more. The secondary display is also a touchscreen display, meaning that you can now comfortably navigate your browser tabs with just a swipe of a finger. The main display is not a touchscreen panel, uh, but for me at least, I'm perfectly fine with it not being a touchscreen. I always found it very uncomfortable holding my arm up like this and using a touchscreen laptop, like, especially for extended periods of time, using it like this is very, very uncomfortable. However, if that secondary display is sitting flat uh, and you just, you know, you just use it like this, then it's a completely different story. Like, I'm not straightening my arm at all using it like this. Oh, and here's something even better. So the Asus ZenBook Duo also supports pen input on the secondary display, meaning that if you're a graphic designer or someone that uses Photoshop a lot for their work, then the ZenBook Duo will make your life so, so much easier. There's really not a single laptop on the market that can do this, having two displays in such a small and portable form factor. And speaking of displays, the main display is also very good for photo and video work. So uh, it's got a 100% sRGB coverage. Uh, this one is a 1080p resolution panel, and you'll see why this actually matters a lot when it comes to the battery life. So so more about that in the battery life section of this video. But probably my favorite part about this display is just how thin the bezels really are. So we have a 90% screen to body ratio, so add this to that dual display, and this looks like a laptop that truly came from the future. And speaking of the future, we also get face unlock thanks to the built-in Windows Hello support, which is made possible by the infrared cameras that Ace has managed to include into this very, very thin and slim bezel. Now, the second feature that makes this laptop so unique is its performance. So the ZenBook Pro Duo, so the larger sibling of the ZenBook Duo, is pretty much a beast. So that one comes with the Intel i9-9980HK processor, which is an 8-core 45-watt chip, 32 gigabytes of 2666 MHz RAM, the RTX 2060, up to 1 terabyte of PCI flash storage, and a 15.6-inch 4K OLED display. So that's a monster of a machine, but it's also bigger, heavier, and thicker. The Asus ZenBook Duo, this one, is not as powerful as the ZenBook Pro Duo is, but it is much more portable, thinner, and lighter. 
However, what surprises me is that we still get some very, very good specs on this, considering its very small size and the dual displays. So we get the Intel 10th generation i7 10510U processor, which is a 15 watt quad core CPU that can turbo boost up to 4.9 gigahertz. We also get 16 gigabytes of 2133 MHz LPDR3 RAM, up to one terabyte of PCIe flash storage, and the dedicated NVIDIA MX250 graphics card. So while this isn't as powerful as its bigger brother, for a 14-inch laptop you can basically take anywhere with you, having Intel's latest U-Series i7 chip and a dedicated GPU and two displays is just something unheard of before. And what I really like about the design of the ZenBook Duo is just how smart it actually helps cool down the entire system. So when you open up the lid, the hinge actually raises the laptop close to you about 2 centimeters from the desk, meaning that airflow would be just perfect on this uh, whenever you're doing anything intensive such as gaming or rendering a video. Not only that, but a hinge also puts the keyboard at an angle, and the typing experience on this is actually very good, surprisingly, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, the keys have enough key travel to make them easily viewable, and you can even feel them even if you're when you're in the dark. And speaking of that, the keys themselves are also backlit. And I really do like the trackpad as well, having it on the right. I don't know, it just makes so much more sense having it on the right, since that's how you would use a mouse. So yeah, overall, the performance and the ergonomics and the usability of this laptop have impressed me more than any other laptop yet. Now, while the ZenBook Duo is not made for gaming, or at least high-end gaming in mind, you can actually play most games at 1080p resolution on medium settings and get about 30 to 60 frames per second, or even higher in some cases. So if you're into more casual gaming, then the ZenBook Duo can easily handle that. And then performance in Adobe Premiere or Photoshop is very good on this laptop. It can handle 4K footage in Premiere quite easily, and Photoshop on this, like I said before, with a pencil especially, is an experience you can't really have on any other laptop, unless, of course, you have the ZenBook Pro Duo. Now, all that performance and all of those features mean nothing on the go if the battery life on this isn't great. And uh, I'm not sure how Aces did it, but it's actually really good. So Asus claims up to 22 hours of battery life on this, or two full days of work. However, that's only if you have the secondary display off, and you also keep the display brightness to just 150 nits, and you also avoid using anything that's intensive for the processor or the graphics card. Now, in a more realistic scenario, you should expect around 8 to 10 hours of battery life at least. Like, for example, in my case, the first day I got it, I fully charged it up, and then I started installing apps on this. For example, uh, games, apps, and Windows updates, and those apps were literally installing overnight. And then the next evening, uh, the battery was at 42%, and the ZenBook Duo still had about 6 hours of battery life left, which was pretty, pretty impressive. I was quite shocked to see that amount of battery life on this. Now, keep in mind that both displays were actually off overnight when the apps and everything wasn't were installing, so to keep that in mind, uh, but still, I'm very impressed with the battery life on this, especially considering that even when I was using it with both displays turned on, uh, the battery life, or the battery percentage at least, was still barely even dropping, whereas something like uh, my MacBook Pro, for example, that would have been long, long dead. So what really helps here is that 1080p display. So for example, if we were to have a 4K display on this, then the battery life would have been severely impacted. Next up, the fourth unique feature of this laptop is the connectivity. Not only do we get the latest Bluetooth 5.0 standard, but we also get Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 802.11ax, uh, which is actually the next generation of Wi-Fi, uh, with speeds of up to 9.6 gigabits per second, but more importantly, if you do have Wi-Fi 6 router and more Wi-Fi 6 enabled devices on your network, they will actually manage themselves much better than they would on Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11ac. So if you have a really fast connection, you will experience zero slowdowns or traffic congestion on any of your devices. So it's pretty amazing in that regard. And then the port selection is very good on this as well. So we have the power input, we have an HDMI port, we have a USB Type A, which is actually USB 3.1 Gen 2, and then we also have a USB Type C port, which is also USB 3.1 Gen 2 in terms of its speed. We then have another USB A port on the right, this one is 3.1 Gen 1, we then have the 3.5mm headphone jack, and we also have a micro SD card slot, which I'm quite surprised to see because we don't normally get this on laptops. Uh, but since now we can actually find even 1TB microSD cards for quite cheap, you can upgrade the storage on this very, very easily. Or just to use a microSD to SD card adapter and use that card in your DSLR camera and then easily transfer your footage directly on this laptop. I just wish that Asus would have included a Thunderbolt 3 port on this, because in that case, it would have been literally the perfect laptop for me, because I do need Thunderbolt 3 for work, and Thunderbolt also lets you connect to an eGPU. 
Uh, but hey, if you really want this specific laptop design with a Thunderbolt 3 port, well, in that case, you can get the Zenbook Pro Duo because that one actually does have a Thunderbolt 3 port. And finally, number five, the last thing that makes this laptop so unique is just how portable this thing really is. At 1.5 kilograms, this is very similar to the weight of other 13-inch laptops out there. But you see, I actually use two monitors at work. I don't use three or four, or one, I use two. And whenever I'm traveling, I find myself urging for a second monitor, just because one, it's so much more productive to, you know, have a second monitor, and then two, I'm, again, very used to having two displays. And yes, you can connect a tablet to a laptop and have two displays that way, but you need to carry around the tablet with you, and it will also cost you a ton extra buying both a laptop and a tablet. And it seems like Asus has found a solution to all of those issues, and that solution is this one, the ZenBook Duo. A truly one-of-a-kind laptop, which also happens to have, by the way, Alexa built into it. So, thank you guys for watching, and thanks to Asus for sending this over, the ZenBook Duo, and for sponsoring this video. If you want to learn more about the ZenBook Duo, and potentially even buy it, then check it out using the link below. And let me know in the comments your thoughts on this, and where you think laptops will be heading towards in the future. If you do want to see more interesting tech videos like this one hopefully was, then you consider subscribing and enabling notifications so that you get notified as soon as a brand new cool tech video comes out. So yeah, thank you for watching. This has been pretty much it for this one. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zen of Tech, signing out. Cheers.